Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to be talking about the three pages you need to have on your website blog, because we're talking about the 30-day blog, um, that you need to have on your website that you don't want to mess up, especially if you're going to be trying to make money from your blog. These are pages that have to officially be there to be able to be an affiliate, to be able to, uh, especially an Amazon affiliate, to be able to be all kind to do all kinds of money making prospects with your blog. You may have a little bit different looking login, but for most of us that are doing WordPress, it's going to look like this. It's you're going to have a WordPress login that looks like this and you're going to say login and it's going to think for a second because the internet and then this is what the back end of all WordPress websites look like. And um, I have a little update. Please update now. I'll go ahead and do that after you guys are done because nobody wants to watch me live updating my website. But um, it'll always tell you that you should uh, back up. My host backs up for me. If you don't have a backup, you could use a plugin called Backup Buddy, something like that. But now we're gonna I'm going to show you how to make your first three pages and things that you really want to know when you're doing those pages. So you're going to go to Pages. All pages, add new. So our very first page that we want to make is a blog page, right? So you're going to title it blog. And you would think blogs, like a WordPress blog, would have a blog page, but they don't always have a blog page. You're not going to put anything in this block. And you're going to come over here and you're going to make sure that it says document. Okay, so you don't make yourself crazy. And then you're going to come over here and set your page type, page attributes, and you're going to say blog, okay? And then you're going to say publish. I already have a blog page on my blog, so I'm not going to say publish, but you're going to click publish, and then you can go right up here. You can say visit site, and then you can look at your blog page. And what will happen, the thing that's so cool about a blog is that it is going to start showing every one of your posts back to front for all time. So this is one of my smaller blogs. I um, have 10 pages of three, six, nine. So I have 90 pages on this site. Um, my big site, I have like 800 pages. So um, if anybody's wondering, I'm using the Genesis theme with uh, Foodie Pro for this one, I think. It's either Foodie Pro or one of the other Foodie blogs. Um, that The reason being is I like it to be really pretty. Now we have our blog page, right? Nothing, you won't have anything. If you look at your website right now, you won't have anything. You will just have what kind of looks like a weird blank, icky template, right? So the next page we want to make is the policies page. And usually you have this up here. You can have it down here. You need to have a policies page in order to be able to be an affiliate. They're all going to, before they check and let you be an affiliate, they're going to want to make sure that you have a policies page on your website. So the way you do that is you go to dashboard, you go to pages, you say add new, and then you're gonna say add new, and I call mine policies, most people call them policies, so I think you could be safe doing that. So you're gonna say policies, you could say policies and disclosures, um, but I would have policies in there. That's what the affiliates are gonna be looking at. Now this time we are going to use up these blocks. We do wanna make sure that we have this filled in. And I found a really great site that has a free sample privacy policy template. My privacy policy I have <laughs> done over the years. Um, so mine is huge uh, because I sell products, because I have uh, people overseas that read it, because I have people in Canada that read it, because I collect people's names in my database. Um, so you're going to want to do this and there's an online generator. And so let's just real quick do this. Da, 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 da. Privacy policy generator. Okay. Um, get started. Where are you located? And then you're just going to walk through this privacy policy generator and you're going to copy and paste it into your, um, new page. Okay. And then once you do that, you're going to have something that looks like this. 
and you need it's really um it's really in depth okay a lot of people will think that for an affiliate policy you uh, affiliate or a privacy policy you can just put in the sidebar of your blog like as an Amazon affiliate, I get compensated for any purchases you make or whatever. But you need an actual policies and disclaimer page that talks about who you are. If you have a company, um, my um, company is Tara L. Jacobson PA, which is a Florida a type of Florida personal, uh, so personal accreditation, something like that. Um, but it's it's a form of a corporation. Um, I have links to when I review items, what my refund and cancellation policy is. If they order something online, um, you're always going to have a commitment to privacy saying that you're going to not use theirs. But if you use anything on your website, if you use cookies, which almost everybody uses cookies for something or other, if you use Google Analytics, if you do any of those things, which we're all going to do in our 30 day blog process, you're going to need to have a privacy page or else you'll get in trouble. Okay. So I am going to include a link to this, a free attorney privacy policy generator page so that you can generate your policy. Last but not least, let's talk about your contact us page and how you want people to contact you. So you're going to wind up having three pages when you're done with today. You're going to have your blog page, which is super easy to set up because you just do the blog. You're going to have your policies page, which you're going to do by generating that policies page. You could also look at other people in similar um, niches as yours and see what their policies are and see if there's something that you should be having on there. And last but not least is going to be your contact us page. And so I don't want to get a lot of phone calls. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll put down here in phone um, on some of my blogs, I even have text me beside it because while I don't love getting a whole bunch of spam texts, I would rather get spam texts than phone calls. I don't actually answer, my phone doesn't show up if you're not in my contact list because I get so many spam calls. Um, so, but I also have my email. You can do it the way I did, Tara at marketingartfully.com rather than Tara the ampersand at marketingartfully.com. Um, because that will kind of help some of the scrapers not being able to scrape your um, email address. I might keep people from being able to do that. I list my mailing address. Um, I have five people who live in my house. I have dogs. I live in a very secure neighborhood. If you're a single woman living alone, I would get a um, go down to you know FedEx or the mail store or whatever, and get a address that you can do. The other reason I list my address is because people send me stuff for free to review, and I really like that, which makes me happy. So after you do that, right, you're going you're gonna, to um, make your policies page, dashboard, pages, add new, policy page, and then you're going to hit publish. If you don't hit publish, it's going to save a draft to your page and you're not going to have, you're going to feel like I've done something wrong because I haven't, I don't have any pages. You have to hit publish in order for it to go live on the internet. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use our menu. So if you go to appearance menu, and all blog themes have a menu. So if you use just like the 2020 from WordPress, if you did whatever than that, you're going to have the ability to make a menu. So I have site specs is what I called my menu. And this is my menu. So what you would do is you would come over here and it's going to say you're only going to have three pages, right? Because you just made your pages. You're going to say blog, contact us and policies. Where's our policies? Oh, I don't have my policies on my menu. Okay. So you would say policies too. You're going to say add to menu, and then they're going to come over here. I would like to find my policies. So let's do it. We're going to say policies, policies. We do a search. There it is. Policies and disclosures. Say add to menu. And I'm going to put this under my about section, right? That's a fine place to put it. If you come over here 
it would show up. It's going to be look terrible. Oops, it's not going to look terrible yet because I haven't saved it, right? Don't forget, you always have to save. So if you come over here, you'll see that my menu wound up looking freaky because it's the policies and disclosures made it drop down. But the cool thing is you could always just move it over. You're just going to drag it and slide it over a little bit. And then you're going to have it look nice and it's going to have a little drop down. Okay. So now it says about, and if they want to see my policies and disclosures, they can do that. I will be back tomorrow to talk more about the 30-day blog. This is Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.